Alright, what is up fellow Linux users? Uh, today I'm going to be making a video that's a little different than what I usually do. Um, to give a quick summary, summary uh, I recently switched from using uh, Debian testing to Arch Linux. The main reason, there's a couple of reasons why. It's, it was mostly just I didn't really felt like I uh, really liked Debian that much. I didn't like the way the direction it was heading. I didn't really like how the management was handled. So I just said, you know what, I'll just switch distributions. So I recently switched to Arch Linux uh, about a well a couple months ago, um, and I've actually been enjoying it a lot. I really like the uh, customization and how Arch Linux uh, has an amazing wiki and it really encourages you to do stuff at a lower level. Um, like I've learned a lot about like System D and all that kind of stuff. Just learning how to use these programs and all that from switching to uh, Arch Linux. It was definitely an, an upgrade in my opinion. But uh, one annoying issue I had is um, for uh, the Arch, Arch has this thing called the Arch Users Repository which is probably its most, in my opinion, its most uh, defining feature. It's basically a uh, repository where people can submit their own packages and um, by the default package manager and in Arch Linux does not allow you to download packages from AUR. You have to manually uh, click on a file, download snapshot over here, and then build the file. But there have been people who have created programs to uh, fill that gap. Um, the most popular one being y Yaort, Yort, Yort. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced, but uh, this uh, is ba it's basically a front end of Pac-Man. And it just allows you to install packages from the uh, Arch user repository. So that that's done. But one thing I noticed was uh, getting tab completion to work on Yort for AUR packages is is a little tricky. I couldn't get it working properly until recently. Um, and what I mean by tab completion is like if I type um <coughs> excuse me if I type Pacman right now dash syu I hit the syu. I hit tab twice, you'll see that it brings up this uh, list of packages that uh, matches the uh, text I was typing. So, f for example, if I say, okay, I want to install ZHS, I don't quite remember what the uh, rest of the package name is, I can just kind of hit space or tab. And uh, you see here, and I hit tab twice, and I can sort of go through the list. Uh, so, that's a very useful thing, I feel like, because um, it can be good if you don't, if you know what you're looking for, but you don't know the exact name. Uh, Arch has it under, um, and yeah, Yoort it worked, but it it did it only completed packages from the official repositories, not the AUR. Uh, so I did a little bit of digging, and I found out that um, this package in community in the community uh, repository, ZHS completions, provides all these files for additional tab completion. Um, for many popular programs like we have uh, DHCPD, ACK, uh, Android, I assume that's for like Android debugging tools, <coughs> GitHub glances, just all these additional uh, tab completions for packages. So I installed this because it said it had, you see right here, Yoort, it has tab completion for Yoort, so I downloaded it. Um, and then I realized that uh, examining the file, uh, let's see here if I can, actually yeah, let's go to the upstream here. When I examined the uh, Yoort file, because tab completion wasn't working out of the box, uh, at least for packages, um, like it would tab complete switches and stuff. So I, I go, I dig through this file and uh, I eventually find a line which kinda looks like uh, like this right here. It says it's trying to find an a directory. It's trying to list a directory uh, slash var AUR. So I'm like, okay. I did a little bit of digging and I found out, oh, I'm supposed to download another package, but this one has to be downloaded from the AUR. Okay. So there's this package called AUR git inside the AUR. And uh, so I installed this. And what this package um, basically does is it just straight up git clones, as you see here, the entire like uh, R repository. Um, it's it's kind of ugly because uh, 
what happens is it means it has to download the package build of every single file and it sticks it in like var r and it's just it it like it took me I had to actually like walk away and come back and it took like it took like 20 minutes for to download all the files. It was a huge it was like 500 megs it had to download. And then when I you know when I looked at the files to download I'm like that it it just straight up cloned all the package builds. That's weird, but I said, you know what, whatever. It's fine. Um but then I looked at this script again and I'm looking at it and I see that let's go to the actual upstream here. I'm seeing that it's two, it's three years old, four years old. Wait a minute. And then I thought to myself, didn't Arch recently switch its uh, backend for its AUR webpage? It did, didn't it? It's backend. It did change it, didn't it? And then what I began to realize is that this package pulls from the AUR3 repositories. So it actually clones a repo the, an AU the old version of the AUR which is no longer being used. So one thing I noticed is that when I would type, so tab completion was working at this point, I would type, you know, this, this little command right here and I hit tab twice, and uh, it would tab complete for packages that no longer are in the AUR. So if I would type, for example, this this little command right here, and then I do ZHS and then hit tab twice, there would be a package called ZHS toothpock, for example, that would show up, and I would go to that file and I'd be like, okay, hit enter, and then you know, hit enter again, enter the command, and then enter my password, and it would go to install the package, and it would say package not found. And then I figured out that, yeah, when they it was a package that uh, isn't in AUR4. Like for example, if we type it in right here. As you can see, there is no ZHS Tupac. So I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, wait a minute. So this thing, this package, which downloaded like 500 megs, pulled from the old repository, so it's not even up to date. And I thought, okay, so I can't, I'm not going to use this method. Maybe there's another method. And then I found this package called RTAB. This one was really close, but the problem with this package is that it conflicts with ZHS completions because it replaces uh, the yaourt file down here. Now I don't mind it replacing that file but it conflicts with this entire package meaning it's gonna uninstall all these files. Uninstalling this uninstalls all these files and there are some useful tab completions here you know. There's some useful stuff in here. I don't want to get rid of all of this. I just want to get rid of this file right here. I just want to replace this with the uh, newer one. And then I did some digging around in R tab, and uh, you can see here. Let's click on it a little bit. I kind of saw how this file operates by reading the Python script, and I kind of got an idea what this does. This downloads a file called uh, packages.gzip from the uh, AUR website, and I'm like, what is that file? Let's look, let's look at that. So I downloaded it myself and I uh, un, and I uh, uncompressed it. And then I found that that, oh, that's actually a file that just keeps a list. Like I can actually, let me see here, if I can um, pull that file up, that would actually be a good way to explain it. But I, um, basically what it is is a gzipped file and when you uncompress it, it just leaves a text file that is, uh, all the packages in the AUR and it's actually up to date. So here, let's see here. Uh, no, that's not a file. All right, do 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 right here. So we see here if we download this file real quick. Give it some time. Uh, nope. Excuse me. You see here it downloaded a packages.gzip file. Okay, well let's uncompress this and see what it is. And then when we view the file, as I've said before, it's all the packages that are in the AUR. And this file is kept up to date, as you can see. This is the last time it was updated right here was today, actually. Um, actually, no, oh, tomorrow for them. Well, that's weird. So yeah, I'm thinking, okay, well, this is useful, right? This is actually pretty useful. 
And then I did some digging and I'm like, okay, well, for in the official uh, ZHS completions, let's go back to upstream here. If we look at the uh, tab completion file right here for Yawart, um, I did a little bit of digging and I found this. And remember, we found this earlier. Remember, I told you about this earlier. I wonder if I can change this value to read from that file. I mean, this guy did it with our tab. Um, see here, let's go down here. As you can see right about here, all he did was, uh, yeah, he just used the gzip command to uncompress the file, and then it would read from that, and that's how it would get its tab completion. So I kind of looked at that and said, okay, that works, but, but uh, let me see if I can't do it my own way. Uh, so what I did was I wrote this quick script. Um, hmm. Do I have it in my home directory? I know I copied it. Oh, I got a tab about it. Right, give me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Put it in the user bin. Yeah, so I wrote a script called DL packages, and what it does is I'm going to go kind of walk you step by step to uh, explain the functionality of the script. First thing it does is, is check if you're a super user. If you're if your super user prints out, uh, do not run this script as super user and then it exits because there's no reason to run this script as you. Don't do it as root. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Um, it won't. I don't really think it'll damage anything, but just for safety reasons. Um, and it creates two variables. These variables are just so I don't have to type in a directory manually every single time it just makes things look a little prettier um, so yeah the first thing the script does is uh, it checks to make sure that this directory exists uh, if it does then there's no reason to make it uh, but it also checks to make sure that um, the user doesn't have it's not make sure that the file that exists is a directory uh, because if it isn't and it's a file and maybe someone, you know, we don't want to overwrite someone's settings. Maybe someone stuck some pads, stuck some text file called AUR and cache, you know, and we don't want to overwrite that. Um, so it'll say, you know, not a directory. We'll, we'll print out a little message that says this file exists, but it's not a directory exiting it, and then it exits clean. Um, but if the file doesn't exist else for any other condition, just make make file uh, dir. So in other words, make a uh, home slash dot cache slash AUR um, and then we use wget um, I don't know I kinda like it better in curl I like its output better um, we use wget no verbose but we also want to have progress so I put show progress bar you know because we do want to know when something's downloading and how long it's gonna take and etc and it downloads that uh, packages file I talked about earlier and then it uh, uncompresses the package. Um, and then what it does is, um, I use said in what, uh, one thing about the package, I don't know if you noticed or not, but if you look at it, there's actually a comment in the very top there. Um, I should highlight it right here. And uh, what the funny thing is, if you don't get rid of this line, when we go to read from the file, it'll actually detect each of these as a package. So you'll get tab completion for list comma, and it's like, what, what? that's a package? No, it's not. So we have to use said to kind of say, okay, delete that, delete the very first line. Um, said is great. It's an amazing piece of software. Uh, and then we say, and then we, of course, when we do that, uh, we have to tell it, okay, output to this file. And then, you know, we tell move to replace the outputted file with the old one. Um, and then what we do is we check to see if the user already doesn't have a packages file in uh, .cache slash AUR. If he does, then what we'll do is we'll diff the files. We'll see if there's a difference between the files. And if there is a difference, then replace the local downloaded file with the newly downloaded one. Um, because chances are the newly downloaded file is gonna have is gonna be is gonna be newer. You know what I mean? It's probably gonna have newer packages and stuff. I could probably write a script that gets like a line count 
or actually physically checks the package the files metadata to see if it's newer but this is just easier you know because chances are if you download the download a packages file and it's newer than the one that's already on your system um, or it's different than the one on your system it's probably newer you're not going to download an older packages file you know what I mean um, so yeah you know if it is newer then it prints out a little a nice little thing here that says download a packages file is different than the one that's already uh, on the system replacing older one with the newer one and then it uh, overwrites the, the file uh, then it moves the download a file to overwrite that one else um, so say for example if you run this script back to back um, because the files are identical because you know you didn't if I doubt there's going to be a new package in the AUR every second then it'll say okay these two packages are equal there's no difference between the lines so we're just gonna go ahead and remove the file download because it's worthless um, and then this line is if if it's your first time running or just as kind of a fail safe uh, just move the package anyway um, so yeah that's what the script does when I uh, I'm gonna execute it to give you guys a good uh, oh, whoa I just tried to write a read-only file let's not do that anyway yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and run the script real quick to uh, show you guys how it works so we run DL packages here and as you can see it just saw that this directory exists so there's no need to make it it downloaded the packages file uh, uncompressed it and it said and it noticed that the downloaded file is newer than the one we have on our system so it go ahead and replaces it as you can see right here um, so you know I'm gonna run the script again to show you guys that the uh, diff does work see as you see here since I ran it again uh, download the package files equal so the packages are the same so don't replace them because we just ran it a second ago and we got a, a newer packages file so there's no reason to have that so yeah now we have a file in dot cache AUR packages that's the file that has this nice little list of all the current packages in AUR it's nice up to date it's nice it's neato so okay so um now the question is is how do we get the tab completion file which is this file right here to read uh, from this file well it's actually pretty simple all I had to do I'm gonna show you guys this real quick it's in, Uh, user shares EHS. All we had to do is replace the if statement that says, as you see here, here's what it, uh, if originally it checks for that directory, what we can instead say is, okay, check to see if uh, home cache AUR exists. And if it does, we can just cat the file, read it, then that's how it can get its uh, input for tab completion because you see before it uh, checks to see if var r exists because it assumes you're using the uh, aur-git packages the aur-git package and then it just uh, ls's that directory to get its tab completion well instead we can just tell it okay just read from this file just dump the contents of that file onto the terminal and that's how we get our tab completion. Um, I also had to do it here, this line right here. Uh, so let me turn numbers on. Set number. Yeah, so you guys can get an idea. I replaced line 140 and 141, and then 147 through 148. I actually did write a script to automate this. I called it said. Uh, yo ort put in my user bin uh, yep and as you can see it uh, what it does is uh, it downloads the CHS completion this file right here from the upstream um, 
and then it changes those lines I talked about into their appropriate values and then it r removes all the copies and all that crap that we don't we don't need uh, and then it just sticks the file where we want it um, and after doing that tab completion now works as you can see I have uh, 35,861 possibilities. Woohoo! That's a lot of packages, and this, you know, completes for the AUR and official uh, packages in the uh, Arch repository. Um, so, yeah, I will be putting a download link for the files uh, in the description um, if you guys are interested in using that. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps someone because. Uh, I, I, I kind of find it strange that there isn't uh, a, no one else has come up with a sort of way to do this without uh, conflicting with the official packages. Um, I, but then again, if you, whenever you update this file, chances are, whenever there's an update for ZHS completion, chances are you're, you're going to have to re-edit this file. Um, you're probably going to have to do that, but it's, but that's why I have the set script so yeah, I can just execute it whenever there's an update and there's, it's really uh, quick and easy um, so yeah you know this way you know I can have this package install get all these tab completions um, and not have to download a copy of the entire AUR get uh, repository and, and an outdated one at that um, so yeah if you guys found this useful uh, make sure to drop a like uh, give me a comment if you uh, guys have any suggestions or improvements that can be made. I don't think I'll make this package my scripts for the AUR just because it seems a little unnecessary. I mean, uh, I'll just put them up on GitHub and uh, maybe a Dropbox download link. And that, that should suffice enough. Um, I mean, if enough people request it, I guess I'll put it up. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And uh, see you guys next time.